there. The knee buckles a little bit. He didn't get hit, it just buckled. Training staff taking a look at the knee now. So after a couple of days of practice, yeah. how do you feel? I feel good. A little sore, a little banged up, but at the same time, happy that I'm competing with these guys and happy that the USA team and the staff um, gave me an opportunity to come here. I watched you the last couple of days, and yes. it looks like it's back, but I want to ask you the explosiveness. Yeah. How do you feel with that? I feel good, actually. Um, working with people back um, at the Bull in Chicago with the Bulls, really conditioning my legs so that when I come out here, I'm good. But the last thing I'm missing is my win. But that's going to come the more I play. The, the, the rhythm the and rhythm. the timing and yeah. just getting used to that. again. How has that been these last couple of days for you? You know, I've just been trying to um, re really be confident and have control whenever I have the ball. You have certain people where they can't control their speed. And um, before the injury, I was kind of reckless a little bit, using my speed whenever I didn't have to. And um, now I think that I have more patience with the ball, coming off, letting the play develop, and really seeing why I have the options that I have, and really not trying to put too much pressure on myself. Now, as a USAB veteran here now, yeah. <laughs> you're a vet. What is going to be your leadership style with some of these young guys who are experiencing all this for the first time? You know, just talking to them. Um, for me, I'm not that vocal, so this whole experience is going to help me become a better leader, too, being more vocal. I'm a guy where I usually lead by example. I don't say too much, but that has to change because on our team, um, for the Bulls, we need that. So right now, it's all practice for me talking. Even though I don't want to, I have to talk a little bit more. After that 2010, a USA basketball experience winning the World Cup. You had your MVP season. Yeah. Right. So uh, what will this experience do for you coming into this NBA season? I'm kind of expecting. <laughs> expecting the same. I like that. I'm I like that. I'm expecting the same thing. I like man. that. Um, I mean, why not? You know, yeah. um, going through so much, um, you got to think positive. How excited are you about the Bulls this upcoming season? Now, I'll tell you the truth. I'm excited about the whole NBA. Um, I think that LeBron going back to Cleveland, um, that's good. Um, I think that was, you can't complain about his decision. I think the NBA is going to be very exciting next year with our team. I think that we could be a contender for next year. We have some great pieces. We really got to take training camp serious and really have one goal as a team, and that's to win the championship.